okay, gentlemen. I've been over the rules in the back. You know exactly what I expect. Let's be at all times. Keep yourself protected. When I tell you to stop, you stop. He's so big. I mean, after his Sean Strickland fight, he weighed himself, and he was somewhere in the neighborhood of 220-plus pounds. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Well, his coach told us. Yeah. He'll be 210, 215 tonight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Unreal. All right, here we go. Round one for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship. Adesanya is in the green with gold trim. Alex Pereira is in the yellow. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. This one is going to be fun, boys. Adesanya seemingly as relaxed as I've ever seen him mm -hmm. before a fight. It's crazy because he's lost to the guy. And he has so much confidence in this matchup. Well, he's a better fighter. He's a better fighter than he was then. Yes. He's improved so much. Especially in MMA. I believe that Pajera's improved as well, but Stylebender is right now one of the very best fighters on planet Earth. Mm -hmm. That's where the confidence is coming from. This is an opportunity for him to get revenge and to show how great he truly is. But it's a dangerous one. Gonna be interesting to see if either man tries to mix in any wrestling. It's amazing how much bigger Pajera looks. He looks like a light heavyweight. Yeah, he does. It's similar to the Jan Bohovic fight. And Pereira certainly looks a lot bigger than he did in those kickboxing meetings five years ago. Those are two very good leg kicks mm -hmm. there by Pereira. And oh, man. Now he goes up high. Is he's going to have to check some kicks? Adesanya with those beautiful, subtle stance switches as usual. And feints, man. He does a masterful job of feinting to set you up tries to draw out reactions. And generally, in fighting, he draws out big reactions. I don't imagine he would draw those same reactions from this guy. No. Who's been in front of him before. He's been in front of him, and also, he's fought world-class kickboxers on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Nice offering there by Adesanya. Pereira did say he was gonna try to pace himself for five rounds, never been 25 minutes in MMA. Oh, nice right hand nice by Izzy. Nice right hand by Izzy. Under three minutes here to go in round one. That Adesanya right, the most significant strike thus far. He's got him reacting now. Look at yeah, that. Yeah, he does. After that right hand, Pajera's, uh, he's doing a little bit of reacting. Like it Look right at that. there. Yep. yep. Now it'll be on Izzy to go and take advantage of it. Well, this is what Izzy does to everybody. He finds where your weaknesses are, finds the holes, and he starts launching. That was one of those things that he didn't do against Bohovic. He would set him up, but he wouldn't attack. He's got Pajera reacting now, but he's got to attack him. Pajera just, there's so much danger when he gets close to you. Inside leg kick is there for Adesanya. Two minutes now to go round one. Izzy goes high, already some significant swelling under that right eye of Pereira. Izzy goes high to try to back him off of him. A lot of leg kicks landed by both guys. He went high, but just glanced. Good low kick by Izzy. Oh, good kick to the body. Got under the elbow. I talked to Edesanya in Dallas, and this guy, his, the way he talked about what he wanted to do to Pajeda was crazy. I had never really heard him talk like this about opponents. Good kick to the body there by Pajeda. But for, yeah, that was a great shot. And a good inside leg kick from the champion to counter. Just over a minute's going around. Well, this is the only guy to beat him the way he beat him. I mean, Bohovic beat him by decision, but yep. Pajeda put him out. And he wants to get that back. We asked Pereira which guy was more likely to try to wrestle or grapple, and he said, I think I would be the guy who'd have more success chasing takedowns, but he expected that Adesanya would be more likely to do that tonight. Oh, good kick to the body. Big. Oh, Jesus. That's where it gets dangerous. Yep, there's that money making oh. left hook. It's when Izzy goes southpaw, Pereira just throws that big body kick. 
First oh, beautiful situation. Beautiful body lock by the champ. Oh, look at these body shots. Hard shots to the body. Nice knee to the body, too. Very interesting that Izzy's clinching with him, making him think. You got to mix it up. But in that clinching, Pereira had more success. He landed some good body shots, and he landed a big knee. Oh, oh he hurt him. Huge right oh, and a left at oh, the end of the round. He hurt him bad. There it is. Yep, he hurt him bad. bad. He hurt him bad. Buzzer. Pereira trying to get his wits about him back to the stool. It's going to be a long minute. Izzy was setting him up when Izzy finally let the right hand go. He got rocked. Let's take a look at the end of the round here. Catches him right where the ear meets the jaw and then that left hook. The left hook was like at the buzzer, right? Let's see it again. Right behind the ear. It's actually after the buzzer. Right. The left hook was after the buzzer. But he had started to throw yes. the left, I believe, before the horn. So a legal strike. And we'll see if the champ can capitalize. He's trying to calm down the Madison Square Garden masses. Pereira looking for more of that noise. Round two, early leg kick for the champ. But now the champ's going to get some respect. Big moment. He hurt him in kickboxing. Yes, he did. He hurt him very bad in that second fight. And they gave Pereira a standing eight count which very likely saved him. There's no standing eight here, though. Oh, Pajera seems to have recovered, but you never know. Oh, good left to the body by Pajera. Little slip on the fence by Adesanya, then he slips that offering from Pereira. Is this gotta stop him from getting so close? It, the danger is when Alex gets close. Is he's got to throw that right hand. Coach Dean Thomas, what do you have, sir? The one thing that Izzy's doing is beautiful is he's switching up between throwing that right hand, but when Alex gets really close, he just grabs his hands to disrupt him from punching, and it's looking like that. It is beautiful because Alex has a hard time getting around that. Good point, Dean, and you saw some frustration from Pereira trying to communicate to his corner after round one. You know, that's one of the things about kickboxing. A lot of the action's taking place in a very short space. The big octagon seems to be favoring Adesanya right now. But Pereira's having a lot of success. He had a good first round until he got hurt. Head, body, leg discrepancy there. Not much success upstairs for Pereira thus far. Good inside low kick there by Izzy. And he goes high. Oh. Pops him with a jab. That jab's on point here, round two for the champ. Alex is gonna have to stop reacting. He's gonna have to lead a little bit, Joe. If he wants a chance, he's gonna have to take some chances. Oh, nice There's jab there by the, by the challenger. Oh, man, the jab is That stiff. jab's money. I mean, he hits so hard, you can hear it when yeah. he lands. Nasty. Even in close. Oh, oh, he hurt him. He hurt him with that shot in tight. What's your call? Another thing to take into consideration. Look at this. He's shooting for the takedown. Is he going to a single leg? Another thing to take into consideration is the five-round fight. Yep. Five rounds. We've never seen Pajeda do five rounds, and he's never had to fight a guy as talented as Izzy. Oh, Ooh. right hand. Big right hand for Adesanya, close to the two-minute mark. Of round two. In MMA, with the grappling. That's the big difference. How does that factor in the fourth and the fifth round? Especially with all that weight cutting. That's the difference. If you tell Alex that he has to spar. Oh! Oh! oh. Oh, my goodness. Couple nice left oh. hands from the challenger. If you tell him he's got a kickbox for 25 minutes, he can do it all day. Yes. But you're mixing all the grappling and everything else that entails the mixed martial arts fight. You wonder if he'll hold up. 
They both landed jabs at the same time there. Oh, beautiful knee. But it again, look, Izzy's clinching. Nicely done. Pereira's landed some really good shots this round, man. Couple big jabs, couple right hands, nice big left hook. And knees in tight here, these are, these are big shots. These body shots and close the knees, they're very telling. And they're the ones that make you tired as the fight goes longer. Adesanya proven strong in these clinch situations, despite being the smaller man. Pereira defending in front of his corner. And Izzy's using a lot of energy trying to take this guy down. We've never seen Adesanya try to wrestle this much. Oh! oh! Head kick. Adesanya connects to the body. Oh. And these wild exchanges is where Pereira's most dangerous. He's making Izzy uncomfortable. And now Pereira shoots. Oh, my goodness. And Pereira gets the takedown. Look at this. Ten minutes in the can. We might be 1-1, one, one, boys. Now, here we go. Here's Izzy with the jab. And mm. Alex lands his jab, and a thudding jab it yeah. was. Yeah. And here's more Izzy. Beautiful right hand. And there's a nice jab by Alex. Now, here's the head kick. And he basically just kind of bounced off the shoulder and touched the face. But here's the takedown. That was a weird takedown. See, look at that. I mean, he just, like, he's just hanging on him so much, he's trying to take him down. Round three of a possible five for the undisputed UFC middleweight championship. And it's heating up. It is. Yeah, it is. When Izzy was struggling with Alex is when he had him back against the octagon. He's got to be the one pressing in advance. The problem is Pereira just gets big on him, right? He starts to stalk him and walk into him. And almost the posture of Pereira is very scary because he's such a big guy in there. And the consequences of him connecting on you are so dangerous. Good vision by Adesanya defensively there, as we have come to expect from the champ. They have both thrown 93 strikes. Pereira has landed 50, Adesanya 45. And this is when, see how Izzy landed the right hand? Alex, then he wants to rush. That's when he starts to get a bit aggressive, right, and go after Izzy. Right. This is where Izzy's got to stand his ground. That was a nice knee to the body there. Look at this. So it is Adesanya who ends up on top. Now maybe trying to get to the back of Pereira. Look at this. Adesanya with a beautiful takedown. Oh, Izzy gets his, his hook in. Pereira staying composed, but gets dragged, dragged back him down. right back down to the ground. Ground and pound by the champion. Big left hands. Is he controlling that bottom wrist? First career UFC takedown for the champ. And look at Pereira's lack of knowledge to go and attack that wrist. He's got to attack that hand to clear it if he wants to get up. He just wants to get up to his feet. Yes. He just wants to kind of power himself up to the feet. But it's hard. You got to clear your wrist. Otherwise, Izzy just pulls you back to the side that he's got trapped. Not a lot of this going on in the kickboxing realm. Under no. three minutes, round three. Solid left hands there landed by the champion. And Pajeda's just trying to stand up. Izzy's doing a great job of keeping his right wrist, man. And then he digs the hook in, and Pereira's trying to elbow him to the thigh. That does nothing. You got to be trying to get back to your feet. But it's all in the wrist control. That wrist control has caused them real issues. Great two-on-one there by Adesanya. Who would have thought? 
And this will exhaust you. This will exhaust Pereira. Yes. That wrist control is so important because now Alex has to address that before he can get to his feet. He can't post with his hands. That's why he's leaned over forward. Adesanya making some of these left hands count. Gets one hook in. It's going to be a long two minutes for the challenger. He's almost up. But he's got to be attacking hands right now. Izzy did a great Izzy job there. Izzy broke him back down again. Look at this. Look at Izzy's forward pressure. Keeping his hands locked and driving the pressure forward towards the mat. Pereira needs to... Oh, no. Mistake there by Adesanya. Yeah, but a mistake by Pajera, too, as yes, he went for the he leg, went lock. leg lock. And then he abandoned it. Instead of just trying to get back up to his feet, he's exhausted. Pereira looks tired now. It's all the grappling. And this is where you would expect the championship experience of Adesanya to start to take form and show itself. Yeah, look at the big, deep breaths from the challenger. Oh, that was a good elbow from the bottom. Almost three minutes of ground control time for Adesanya here in this third round, under a minute to go now. It's crazy, too, because Pereira was the reason the takedown happened. He tried to step across in a position where he had no chance to score a takedown. Izzy's gonna throw elbow here. He can take it over the top while Pereira's grabbing the wrist. Oh, nice left oh, hand. Good left hand. Glover's telling Pereira to hold on. Izzy needs to try to pass the feet if he wants to land something big. He's got to catch both feet, pass, and throw. A little axe kick to the body. Big round for the champion. The championship rounds. And there's no denying the hard worker within Alex Pereira. We'll see how the cardiovascular base holds up, but it's not as though he's breathing super heavy. He's lip smacking here to Adesanya. Yeah. Round four of a possible fight. And again, all the grappling is not familiar to Izzy, right? This is something different for him too, so. But Izzy's not cutting that kind of weight either. No. That's when that starts to show itself. Yes. Every MMA round begins on the feet. Yeah, but that's no picnic either. No, <laughs> I mean. I mean, it, it, Israel Adesanya is a bad man on the feet. I wish we got to see that takedown in the middle of the rounds. Adesanya able to roll with that left hand, but a connection by Pereira nonetheless. Nice leg kick by Adesanya. Pereira's trying to get a break, trying yep. to kind of recover a little bit. You can tell his activity slowed. It slowed down. Ooh. Oh, a jab earlier, and then that right hand, very clean. That's Izzy picking up reads. This is where I like, is, is dangerous. In this position. Beautiful sequence by Adesanya. The chance starting to open oh. up now. Attacking all areas to great effect. As Pereira gets tired and, it, and he starts to slow, the champion has all this championship round experience that he's relying on. Yes. And just MMA experience. Yes. We're talking about a guy who's really only four fights into his MMA career, right. and in his fifth fight, he's fighting one of the greatest middleweights of all time. It's wild. Pereira's pace and activity has really waned here. Johnny's exhausted. Mouth's open and he's barely throwing now. He's tired. It was all the grappling in round three. Paid dividends for the champion. 
Pareda also having a hard time planting on that lead leg, courtesy of all those Adesanya leg kicks. He's landed 27 of 30, has Izzy, unofficially. Pretty futile offensively for Pareda here early round four. He faked level change. Oh, look at that. He did it again. If Izzy can take him down, he gets tired. Good. He's very tired. Yeah, he's tired. And this also speaks to the lack of experience. He didn't fight a Robert Whitaker. He didn't fight a Marvin Vittori. He didn't Jared fight a guy. Kennedy, yes, all Jared Kennedy. Yeah. Big guys, guys who could take him down. He got fast-tracked. And, I mean, he fought well. You know what I mean? Fought well in round one, fought well in round two. But as you would expect, you know, they're starting to fatigue down the stretch, and this is where the champion seems to be starting to pull away from him. And this was the concern about the weight cutting. Yeah. Like, the extreme weight cutting, how is that going to affect grappling? And now we're finding out. Well, he was the last guy on the scale also. Yes. Yeah, five minutes left, and he made it. What championship medal, though, from Adesanya after a tough round two yeah. to take control of this fight in rounds three and four? But we got a minute left. If Pereira can make something big happen here, and now he seems to have... Look, he's, he's pressing on the gas a little bit. Big jab. Oh! Woo! And Izzy's trying to clinch now because he felt the danger. He was going forward. Nice knee to the body. Good trip. But these are the ones, these are what this is what he was doing early in the fight when they got to the clinch. Digging knees, punching to the body. Trying to make the champion pay for getting close. Pereira actually moved him into a single. He just took a big, deep breath. He's tired. And he was starting to recover, so Edesanya put him right back in that grappling position. As he loads up on the elbow over the top, just misses. Waning seconds here, round four. Twenty down, five to go. Woo. Adesanya five minutes away from remaining the UFC standard at 185 pounds. Fifth and final round. It seems like we're looking at 3-1 pretty comfortably for the champion. But the danger is still there with this guy. Oh, nice left to the body. And now he knows he doesn't have to fight another round after this. He can empty the tank. Yeah, he's going to fight hard. Ooh. Yeah, Pereira got that right hand through. Pereira can land when he throws. He just has not been able to keep up the pace of Adesanya. And of course, there's always that inherent risk. The more offense you throw, the more likely you are to get countered. And caught in the clinch, right? So every time he gets here, long periods of time of passing. Kamal Usman certainly didn't sit on his lead against Leon Edwards. Oh. Big leg kick for Pereira, backs out of Sonia. That was a check. That was a check. He checked the kick, and it hurt Izzy's leg. He checked the kick, and it hurt the champion's leg. Oh, Ooh. no, he tripped himself. Yeah, so just sort of a wayward step or so it appeared by Adesanya. Yeah, that's all it is. He looks fine in his motions. He does. Pereira's had his most success to the body tonight. Oh! oh. oh. Here's the left hook! Here in the bell! Oh, and now a right! Adesanya's on one way! Oh, let's go! Two more! Down goes the champion! Oh. Pereira trying to close oh, the oh, shot! Oh, and he'll do it! Oh, and no! no. He did it! Peloton has done it! He did it again! Alex Pereira, oh. the undisputed middleweight champion! Oh, 
Oh my oh goodness! My God. He did it again! Oh my goodness! He did it again! He did it again! Wow! In the final round! He did it the last time in the third round. He did it again. He Every time he hit Adesanya, Adesanya was uncomfortable. It's when he got to the point where he knew he could empty the tank. The power of this guy. The power. Preposterous power. Look at Glover. Pandemonium at Madison Square Garden. Disappointment for Adesanya. A new world champion. Bro, in four fights. In four fights. In four UFC fights. Is that a record? Is he was very close. Because the year and he was the champion, our interim. Wow. So Izzy's against the cage. He pops him with the jab. The oh, right it was the hand right hand. Him. Yeah, it was the right hand. It stung him a little bit. Oh, and then it was the, the uppercut. uppercut. The uppercut stung him. Oh, That's it was the left that hook. one. The left that hook one. again. And then another one. And oh, then that my right goodness. hand. He's in big trouble there. And then again. Joe. I mean, he was hurt bad. You could have stopped this a long time ago. Mark Goddard gave him a ton of time. He gave him all the time. But look, he's not even looking. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Adesanya, though, with an immediate protest. Yeah, I, I mean, he's a champion. I can see yeah. why oh he's my protesting. Goodness. Joe, look how man. short that hook is. Oh, it's beautiful. Look at how short that left hook that is. That power is beautiful. This dude is crazy. Look, there's no doubt he was in deep, deep trouble. Could you make the argument that you should put the champ out? Maybe. Oh, my goodness. But the way he's moving, it looked like he was gone. Look at Glover. Look at Glover. Oh, my goodness. And for Nelly Feliz and Plinio Cruz, Alex Pereira's right hand man. Adesanya, ever classy, acknowledging the crowd. This one is going to sting for a while, for a long time. He fought masterfully at times, but as Kenny Florian and others kept saying, Adesanya's going to have to be perfect for 25 minutes. Is he needed to be perfect? Pereira didn't need to be perfect. And when he landed, he got it done. Well, and if this doesn't lay the foundation for an immediate rematch, Absolutely. of course, Adesanya, the long-reigning champion, I don't know what does, but Alex Pereira realizes a dream tonight. And, John, who wouldn't want to see this again? This is a fantastic Amazing. fight. Amazing. High-level kickboxing, and you also recognize the dangers in the fight. Tremendous. All right, one final time tonight. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mark Goddard has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, one second of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by TKO and new UFC undisputed middleweight champion of the world, Alex Boatong.